Ja, das ist Mike's Daily Podcast. FF Episode 1471, 1471. I'm Mike Matthews, broadcasting from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Mont. Today, Madam Rita Vega, Valentino, Vice, and Bentley. And I am returning to you with sand on my feet because I went straight home after going to Half Moon Bay yet again. The podcast picture yesterday featured Basil and I. Mike's Daily Podcast. At Half Moon Bay. Well, we went back yesterday. That's one of the only good things about working at five in the morning. Mike's Daily Podcast. Is you can get off early and if you don't mind a little bit of traffic, you get over to Half Moon Bay and then you ride on top of an attic. What? You go into an attic? No. You don't, you go to the beach and you go on the waves. So, that was a song fail. Mike's Daily Podcast. I just brought to you. So, I went to the beach and ran with Basil the Boxer on the beach. Well, we more or less walked. Mike's That was fun. Daily And then we met Podcast. someone from the East Coast. Yeah! Who is visiting our West Coast and was so happy to be in California. And she was like, oh, I want to move here and I want to sell coffee on the beach. And I was like, that's great. You know, it's so great to meet someone from outside of your state because they bring you this fresh view, the view that you had when you first moved here. Or perhaps you grew up in California. Look who just walked in. And you're spoiled. And you don't know anything different. And I know all about you. Because I was spoiled like you. And then I lived in Alabama for two years. And I couldn't wait to get back to California. Look who just walked in. Hello, my comrades. It's Madame Rudabega. And I am from the planet Rudabega. Ooh. And I miss it. There is no planet Rudabega. Is it shaped like a Rudabega? Yeah, okay. I don't think this story holds water. Look who just walked in, also. Hello, dear Mike. This is Valentino, the party attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, speaking of water, we brought you a little bit. Thank you. Oh, I'm a little bit parched because I was at the beach and Basil drank a whole bunch of water. <laughs> And then, unfortunately, he peed on this wonderful visitor from the East Coast. I, and here's today's podcast picture. I told you on Monday about a situation where a friend of mine's boxer peed on someone who had made fun of my pants and said that I had 70s pants. Well, this nice woman didn't need to be peed on at all. She didn't make fun of my pants. So I don't know why a boxer peed on her Is it a boxer thing? Do boxers pee up? Basil had only peed on one other person, and this was years ago, a nice lady that lived up the street, who then subsequently moved from our neighborhood. I don't know if it was because of Basil, but hey, the podcast picture today is not of Basil. That was, the, if you want one of Basil, go to the last podcast picture from the last show, which you can find at mikesdailypodcast.com, as well as the Amazon link. Go on that and buy whatever it is it was going to buy. It's tricky to remember to buy through the Amazon link at mikesdailypodcast.com. I know because I actually bought something yesterday on amazon.com and didn't go through my website. Ah, I'm so frustrated. But actually, I didn't buy it. I had money from a gift card. So in a sense, I wasn't actually buying something. I don't know if that would have applied If you buy something, though, on Amazon through Mike'sDailyPodcast.com, it helps out the show. A lot of podcasts do that. And so it's one way they can, like, help defray the cost of the website that I host and I keep up to date. With. That's Mike'sDailyPodcast.com, also with the interviews that I've done, past interviews. And I was telling the visitor from the East Coast... Whereas I'm a visit, I was a visitor from the East Bay. I'm just now thinking about that at Half Moon Bay. But she, so we both had East in our uh, homes, names. But she, I was telling her about how I had interviewed Ke uh, Keith Urban because she was a big country fan. And this was years and years ago 
before Keith had his teeth fixed. And you can see a picture of that and hear the interview at mikesdillypodcast.com. Yes, Keith had his teeth fixed. And he sang a Dire Straits song when I talked to him. It was a very, very fun interview. So, yes, there was a fun day yesterday. Very busy getting to the beach with my dog and enjoying the beautiful sunset and hearing interesting stories about the East Coast and how it is, uh, well, the weather is humid, as you know, if you are on the East Coast now. Californians, we pay a lot of money in taxes, uh, in rent. It's expensive here. And that's one thing that sucks. And the traffic can be annoying. But the, it, we're not the only state that's got all that. There's a lot of other states that got all those problems. So would I rather be here than there? I guess so. I'm a Californian. I came back is the thing. I was in Alabama. And when I first moved to Alabama, I was, hey, I am. I have avoided that because California had a bunch of wildfires back then. This was 2007, and I was like, "Yeah, okay, I'm in Alabama now, and I don't have to worry about wildfires. I don't have to worry about high taxes. I can, um, you know, actually, food in the grocery stores cost exactly the same, but I love it here. It's green." Then uh, after a while, I started to miss California a lot. I miss the way people talk. I missed the uh, lack of humidity and the beaches. And there's so many things I missed about California. And then every time one of those damn commercials came on telling you to come visit California with Arnold Schwarzenegger back then. Come here to California. And it was so, oh, I was, when you're outside looking back into where you used to be, it's just, I want to go back. And so now I'm back. And, And then she was telling me, the East Coast visitor that, in fact, they do see those commercials across the country telling you to come to California. So it, may, it would probably make me homesick. The point being that now there are two more women who are saying that President George H.W. Bush has groped them. The last show, we were talking all about Heather Lind, the actress, in a, in a now-deleted Instagram post, which I read most of yesterday said she was triggered after seeing a photo of Bush shaking hands with former President Barack Obama at a recent hurricane relief fundraiser and had decided to share her story. But she says, well, I I got into that whole thing and and in the last show. So the spokesperson, Jim McGrath, said President Bush would never under any circumstance, blah, blah, blah. It was an attempt at humor is what he said. Well... Now there is another actress who alleged something similar happened to her. Jordana Grolnick. Okay, I have to see who she is. I'm, I'm looking her up now. Eh. She does look young, probably in her 30s at the, at the most. She met Bush backstage during an, intermish, in an, an intermission of a production in the state of Maine of The Hunchback of Notre Dame last year. At the time, she was told about his reputation of fondling women during photo ops, but she dismissed the warning. We all circled around him and Barbara for a photo, and I was right next to him. He reached his right hand around to my behind, and as we smiled for the photo, he asked the group, Do you want to know who my favorite magician is? As I felt his hand dig into my flesh, he said, David Cop of Feel. After telling the joke, others in the room laughed politely out of discomfort. And then Barbara said something along the lines of, he's going to get himself put in a jail, to which we all laughed harder. Wow. You can just imagine that scene. When she got home, she uploaded the group photo on her Instagram account. Okay. There is a picture there. And she is, in fact, right in front of George H.W. Bush. And where is his hand? Hmm. I don't want to belittle... She felt compelled to share her story, she said, after the Harvey Weinstein scandal broke. She said, I don't want to belittle Heather Lind for feel, feeling violated now 
that the hashtag Me Too movement has brought this all to light, I think I should have been a little more alarmed to be touched so inappropriately by a man who was once the leader of the free world. He knows the power he has and the reverence he deserves, even while sitting perhaps somewhat senile in a wheelchair. What I've come to realize is that if we tolerate these small comments and grazes from men on the street or former presidents, they might assume that it's okay with us and they may take it as permission to do who knows what else. I realize that making light of the situation was the wrong move. It wasn't okay for him to do that to me. He wasn't able to give me a job or a movie deal, so I didn't feel compromised or pressured to do anything more. But the comments and assumptions about our bodies must stop at all levels. Very well put. Thank you so much for coming out, Jordana Grolnick. I forget who I was listening to. It was a podcast called To The Point, and uh, Warren Olney had on a guest who was talking about the um, how... How uh, our vice president, um, Pence, Mike Pence, said that he will not be in a room with someone, uh, a woman. He will not be in a room with a woman who, who, uh, yeah, alone in any room with a woman because he's married. And he feels that that would be considered cheating against his wife, which is something I've heard. I work for a company that has a lot of Christian radio stations. And the whole deal is we, we carry... A multitude of different denominations and different pastors. Well, one of the pastors talking that I heard on our station said something to that effect like, you just need to be faithful to your wife and you shouldn't even be in a room alone with another woman for any reason whatsoever that's not your wife. And that treats women like these complete objects. And I wouldn't like it. I would say, what the hell? Why are you saying that? That is so ridiculous. So we live in a world that needs some serious changes. Jordana Gralnick is the latest to step out. And she, and this is, I don't think she's been in anything really big. This is sort of a, uh, she does like local theater type thing. So uh, now, she, oh, she's an actress in New York now. So maybe that's someone that we need to support in going to see her plays and Anything that she is in on television. So, back to something else somewhat political. But actually, this is politics past 1963. And John F. Kennedy, the assassination documents, a secret documents, have been released. It's a final batch. I thought this article was going to be about what's actually in the documents, but we don't have that information yet. They're supposed to be released today. Okay. Then there is this story that's out about the Walgreens that you love down the street from you. Well, it might be closing soon. They're going to close 600 drug stores as it completes a $4.38 billion deal to buy nearly 2000 from rival Rite Aid. Company spokesman Michael Paulson said... Yesterday, that most of the closings will be right aid stores, and the vast majority will be within a mile of another store in the Walgreens network. And finally, Google is about to release the Android 8.0. Oh, actually, it was launched in August, but they're already working on its next big update, 8.1. A final release due sometime, it's going to be out in December. So far, it doesn't seem like there are too many useful features in 8.1 for the average user. The preview includes a few changes for developers, such as hardware acceleration for on-device machine learning, new memory management features, and improvements to autofill. It's not clear. The biggest update that we know is coming with 8.1, activating the Pixels 2 secret image processing chip. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley. I'm suddenly feeling... The tiredness that one would feel after driving an hour to the beach, being on the beach all day, and then going home at a late hour. I think it's finally catching up with me, but I've had a wonderful time doing this podcast. Next podcast, we're going to have the wonderful, what do you call them, people. That would be Shelley Shuhart, Floyd the Foreman, and John Deere, the engineer. Enjoy your day, and whatever you do, make sure that you... Stay away from George H.W. Bush. The guy is crazy, I guess. Former presidents in wheelchairs groping women, that's wrong. 
that I'm just going out on a limb here. Oh, hey, the podcast picture, I forgot to tell you. So we're keeping with the theme of Halloween and Halloween displays on people's front yards. This house is not too far away from mine in Podcastro Valley. These guys put this wonderful skeleton graveyard type thing where the actual the skeletons are holding up pumpkins and there's one on top of the roof there that's interesting. And they've got all these ravens and crows sitting up and down the house and that's an homage to Alfred Hitchcock and the birds. So see that picture now. It's really cool and kooky at mikesdailypodcast.com. And can I get at least one? We didn't do any sound effects today, did we? So here we go. Kooky. Very good. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.